What's good, people? This is the man and Cass. Football focus, where we focus on football, my favorite food, and film. Yes. All right, well, first thing, like I said, this is the dead zone. Right yeah, now. we're so back, still in the dead zone. Still in the dead zone. Just, we're still in the middle of the ocean. No wind blowing. All right. But, God dang it, we're going to find some way to get the show. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah, we, we uh, struggling right now. OTAs yeah. is getting ready to start up. Um, they already put out a report saying that the um, there's gonna be a, a, a competition at all three linebacker spots. I love that. Man. So maybe Stephon Andy might get a chance to redeem himself at middle well, linebacker, well, not at I outside. Mean, well, I, I don't know how because they got that boy Klein. I mean, you know, they signed that boy. So I, mean, that, they, they, I think they signed him to be the middle linebacker because he did. He took Luke Keekley's spot. Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Was Klein a first round draft pick? I don't think so. Okay, all right. Enough said. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> Enough said. You got this dude for four years on. on you got to pay this dude. You got to do four. Well, this is what his third year. Yeah. You got to pay him. Yeah, either pay him or cut him. You can't. You can cut a rookie. Yeah, well, I mean, he ain't a rookie. Well, he's still under the rookie contract. Release him? Whatever. I mean, look what they did, Grayson. Oh, you talking about a oh, first round pick? First round pick. Oh, I'm sure. Man. Yeah, look what they did, Grayson. Exactly. Well, I don't want to open that. I don't want to open that wound up. There. But yeah, I mean, I think it's good. You know, competition is always good. Always for you know as far as when it comes yeah, to uh, yeah. playing. So I mean, you know, it, it depends. I I I just want the best guy out there. I don't care who it yeah. is because you got Teo too. You got Manti Teo. Yeah. You got uh, you got. Uh, Got who's a Robinson. natural? Who, who's another natural middle linebacker? He's a big dude. I think he was about six foot three, two fifty. That's what I'm saying. You know, he, he a big dude, and you know he have, he's athletic because he, he led Notre Dame. I know that's college, but tackles. I mean, he was up for the Heisman. Yeah, he's not. I think his injuries. I think injuries may mainly played a part with him yeah. in San Diego. Yeah, you know yeah, saying, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, if he don't get catfished. You yeah. know what? Now that you mention it, yeah, you're right. Cause tail got cut. He's yeah. Tail. Well, no, tail. Tail got cut from. Him. We got t cut from San Diego. Yeah. yeah. He was. He was. A, I don't think he was a first round pick. Though. You sure? Yeah. I, don't, I think he might be a second round pick. Or something. Like okay. That. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. But but like I say, it, it's always. I always say uh, competition is good because we got a lot of safety too, which is your expertise. I mean, Mine's you got beautiful. Williams, you got Vaccaro, you got yeah. Bell, you got. Yeah. I don't. They 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 release Bird, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They they release Bird. They got somebody else. Uh, Raphael Bush. Yeah. They got you know what I'm saying? They, and they Barton got mm -hmm. they, and they got somebody else. I, I don't think they got Roman Hall because I think he just signed him. Yeah, he did. He signed the one. Yeah, yeah so yeah, I mean, yeah. but there's another six that I might be missing. So it's you, well, you, the good. most important one is you, the rookie. I said most rookie. That's what I'm saying. Like you, said, you said you covered the most important one, right, the rookie, right. Bell, mm -hmm. Vaccaro. Mm -hmm. See, I wonder how they're going to use them. I mean, you know, because I think I think the defensive coordinator like to do the three safety. He like to do a three safety thing. I don't know how good that is because they're saying you're not, you know, you don't really trust your corners. And not only that, but you, that makes you a liability in the running game. I mean, the last yeah. time I checked, you know, I mean, I don't think, I mean, Carl, maybe he could play the run, mm -hmm. but, you know, he wasn't as big as Roman Harper was. Right. You know what I'm saying? Roman Harper. And then Roman Harper was a ball. He had hit that ball out. Yeah. Well, I don't like know that. about him being a ball. I mean, he, he's, well, I talk he about did, he, 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 did lead the, he did lead the team in, in sacks one year, so. Well, I mean, well, as I said, as a ball, he, 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 you know, he's not really. Intercepting type of guy, but he he, he I, I seen him do rip the ball out fumbles and stuff like that. I have uh, seen that. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> just look at the film. Okay. Check the tape. Check the tape. Uh, anyway, but yeah, I, I say competition is good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Is, as is, far as any position, but the question that we have, since like I said, it's a slow week. Yeah. The question that we is a slow month uh, is: Will Adrian Peterson? Get his incentives. What is his incentives? 1,500 yards? Uh, yeah, 10 touchdowns. 10 touchdowns. Yeah, and that contract goes from a $7 million contract to, I think, a $15 million contract if he meets those incentives. Right. But you think you'll get it? No. I don't think so. No. Because, I, I mean, has the Saints, have the Saints ever had 2,000-yard rushes? Ever? No. I mean, not Facebook my, no. or Twitter, no, Instagram? No, that's, 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 that's a question yeah. for Facebook. I mean, I don't just, think they've ever ranked you. Because even when they, in 09, when they were like second in Russian or top five. Yeah. You they, know, they had five. Bell, they had uh, Bush, and they had uh, Pierre. Mm -hmm. I don't think none of the boys rushed for 1,000 yards. Nah, none, none of them did. Yeah, yeah. the old P.T. Cruz. Yeah. Shout out to P.T. Yeah. Cruz, man. P.T., yeah. boy, J.J., that's his favorite player. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so like I said, uh, and, and, and I think Ingram last year was the first Saints player to rush for 1,000 yards in like, Four five years. 
it had to be longer than that because, like you said, the last thousand yard rush they had was Deuce. Yeah, and that was in 06. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he rushed for a thousand yards in 2006. So, and then they made that man blow his knee out the next year after. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't. You know, I don't believe he's going to hit those marks uh, just because, again, I always go back to the uh, Saints system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Saints offensive system is not predicated to a uh, back like Adrian Peterson. He, he He's a guy, you got to get him at least 20, 20 carries. Right. Uh, at least 20 carries a game. But, okay, let me ask you this. Yeah. With them getting with them getting the offensive line together, you know they get drafted a boy. They got that boy Warford mm -hmm. and um, uh, a couple undrafted, 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 a couple undrafted mm -hmm. free agents. Mm -hmm. All of them saying? didn't get cut, right? So, right. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and and like I said, the, I think the line personally with with, with uh, Mark Ingram running for a thousand yards last year, I think it's a pretty decent line. Then you adding on to you adding you got your nice tackle True. from Dre, and then you got then you got Warford. True. Then you already got you know what I'm saying you already got your steady guys. I mean with your boy coming back from injury. Uh, Talking about, oh, uh, no, no. He oh, back Max Umber. Yeah, yeah, Max Umber, and you still got Teron on there. You got Teron on there. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. got some people, and they got a good guard, too. Um, Not Jari, but it's another guard. It's no, another, not Jari. Because Jari went to the Packers. You talking about Keo Selimente? No, it was another guard that they have that's pretty good. Not, not Bryce he, Harris that they just signed? No, 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 not him. It, 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 it's a guard that they have that's pretty decent. That he, you, know, you don't hear his name that much because, obviously, he ain't been holding nobody and nothing like that. But anyway, I digress. But they go, I think their line is pretty good now. So you add them pieces in there, and I think they, I think they gonna be full, fully committed, committed to the running game. You know, what I'm saying? because so. you want to kind of. My thing is, if you're smart, you kind of want to preserve Drew. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. if you got a running game, like I said a couple of weeks ago, though, you know, I would love to see the box that they put out there. Mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. in Minnesota, mm -hmm. I would mm -hmm. love to see the box when Adrian Peterson, Adrian Peterson comes out there. Mm -hmm. Minnesota has a good defense, but Great I, would defense. Love, I would love to see that box. Are they going to stack eight? Or are they going to do seven? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a good mm -hmm. cat and mouse game. But yeah. I think they, they, I think they prepping to do it, but I don't think that they're going to have 2,000 yard rushing. I think Adrian Peterson is going to be good, though. I think he'll get at least 800. Well, yeah. I think he'd get 800. Yeah, if he's at, healthy. at this age, at this stage in his, in his career, you know, 800 being is good, right? 800, no, well, yeah, 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 800 is good. The main one comeback player of the year, if you get 800 yards, the main <laughs> 9, 10 touchdowns. Well, what was his, uh, what was his stat out for last year? Not that much, because he only played, like, one or two games. Oh, when he got maybe, hurt. maybe I heard that Sunday night. You know, it's so funny, man, I don't know, what, I, you got to be a Saints aficionado to remember this. A certain running back, who just so happens to play for us now, a couple of years ago accused us of intentionally trying to hurt him. Do you know who that is? You say he plays for us now? He plays for us now. I would say more Ingram is the only one coming to mind. Adrian Peterson. Did he say that? Yes, he did. In the, in the, in the, the championship game? In the championship game and in the next year when we played him on the uh, play, oh, played him Matter of fact, did, did play, no, we played him on Thursday night. Thursday night. Played him on Thursday night. And then a couple, I think a year or so, or maybe a year or so after that, he said it again. Oh yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah. We played him because we blowed him out. I remember and that. That was, that was in eleven. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you say when the Saints players are intentionally trying to hurt him, you know what I'm saying? And now well, half of those players not even here now though. So that's true. Oh, speaking of the segue, mm -hmm. speaking of which, I want to say congratulations to Jonathan Vilma, Nix. Uh, yeah. and Carl Nix. Absolutely. That was actually a Carl Nix sighting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Congratulations to those guys making the uh, Saints Hall Football of Hall of Fame. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. Good surprising good. for Knicks, uh, I would think you – well, I don't know if John Fontenot is in there. I think he should be in there. John Fontenot, um, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hell, Kyle Turley too. Um, mm. But, um, you know, congratulations to both those guys, um, you know, and uh, they will be immortalized in Saints history for yeah. – uh, a long time, man. Long you know, time. they, you know, because both of those guys uh, did a lot. You know, well, both of them are champions, so you yes. got to give them props on that. Yes. Yes. And um, you know, both of those guys were vital parts yes. of them winning, especially yes. Vilma was the middle linebacker yes. that we still searching for. Yes, that we still you know searching what I'm saying? for. We yeah. had had one ever since he left. You know, That's so true. you know, so That's true. you know, shout out to That's Vilma, true. shout out to uh, Nick. I think I met Vilma. Really? Back in the gap. How tall is he? He ain't that tall. Yeah, I think I could dunk. Yeah, I feel yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I mean I think he was at one of them uh, when I worked at Call Quest. I okay. think he was at one of those spots. Him and uh uh Goodwin. I met him too. Yeah, I seen him, man. Big fat, big fat dude, sloppy. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I 
She think it is red. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, anyway, yeah. So shout out to them, and uh, like I said, dude, like I said, it's it's, it's light, man. It's yeah, 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 too much. But I think the Saints running game will be pretty good, though. Man. I hope so, man. I mean, because it'll be something that we've never seen in a while. It's been a while, you know. Um, and you, like I said again, you know, uh, it travels well, yeah. you know. And like you said, pre- preserve Drew. Drew wants to play till he's forty-five. Yeah. The only way he can play to these forty five is he if he has a running game. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I mean, because you know, uh, you know, me and me and my baby bro right here was was doing the stats, man, and and Drew Brees will pass if he, you know, Drew Brees will pass Peyton Manning next year, two thousand eighteen. You know, so if you if not you this year, but next next year, year two thousand eighteen. Because this is 2017. What, 2018-19 season? Yeah, 18-19 season. Right. So next year. Next, right, next right, season. Right, right, right. If, he, the, if, he, if he stays healthy and stuff like that. But I did want to ask you hmm. about the Mad Cup. Tom Brady, the GOAT edition. What you think of that? I love What's it. What's your opinion? I love it. <laughs> Why do you love, love it? it? Why do you love it? Because the Madden curse is real, man. <laughs> the Madden, some people broke it, yes. Mm-hmm. Some people broke some it. People but that's because I it. think that they went down to Haiti and, and, and got so some of it. Yeah, he went to a witch doctor in Haiti and, uh, you know, got some of that root put on him mm. and to protect him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, let's see, Calvin Johnson, he yeah, broke he, it. He, yeah, he broke it because he had a, he broke But he had a slow start, though. But his team still didn't make the playoffs. No, nah, they didn't. And then he broke uh, Jerry Rice's record, receiving yeah. record. Now, catches or something like that. No, yards. Yards, yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. yeah 2,000 yeah. yards or something like that. Something like that. 1964. Yeah, 1960. That's something I'm like, dang, okay. So, uh, you got Ray Lewis. He broke the curse. Yes. Um, they made the playoffs. He had a great season. Uh, I think Drew. That's a toss-up, man. Drew. Because, I mean, again, yeah, he, but he had some. They had some bad losses. They lost to Cleveland that year. Yeah, they lost to everybody. And the the the, the play yeah, yeah. Her around the world. Yeah, yeah. When Beast Mode was officially born, right? This dude broke twenty two tackles. He broke our tackles twice, and he broke some of his other players' tackles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who, who else? Who else? Was, I got, um, you know who else? Uh, Eddie George. Eddie George. Eddie George had a good curse. Season. No, he didn't. No, he did. He did have a good season. Did? Yeah, he led the league. I think he led the league in rushing. He was second, and the team went thirteen to three. The only thing, the only reason why they say mad, the bad curse was they lost to the Ravens that year in the playoffs. There was a number one season. Dude, lost to the, the Ravens got hot at the end of the season that year. We was we had front row seats. Yeah, exactly. We was right there. Right. We was right there. We had front row seats. The Patriots wasn't beat the wasn't beating the Ravens that year. Right, that's true. The Patriots yeah. wasn't beating the Ravens. Right, that year. that was a good year. The, but yeah, um. Dominic McNabb. Oh, he was a yeah, oh, terrible. Man. Him, Dad Cole Pepper. Remember Cole Pepper? Cole Pepper. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Man. Uh, my man. boy Corey uh, Hill- Hillis. I think Hillis? That yeah, Peyton Hillis. Yeah, Peyton Hillis. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, terrible, yeah, dog. So, like yeah, I said, we can go yeah. down the line. Like I said, we ain't yeah. got all of them right in front of us. Bro. Right, right. You know, right. just off the top of the dome. Uh, 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 Gronkowski. Gronkowski. Yeah, Steven right. Alexander. Ooh. Yeah, that was a bad one. That was a bad one. That was Vince Young. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. So, like I said, so, you know, it depends. But they got Brady on now. So I'm surprised they put back-to-back. Uh, he's but I'm trying to put back-to-back uh, Patriots, though. Well, they won Super Bowls back-to-back. They, they, that, right? Nah, what you call those Broncos won it last year? Oh, right, right, right. I'm yeah. sure. Well, I mean, hell, I mean, put them on there, man. <laughs> Let's see if they can beat the curse. Gronk couldn't do it. <laughs> he so sure could Gronk couldn't do it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> anyway, man. Anyway, you know, I, I do want to say this, man. Uh, my baby bro, JJ, has been putting out videos on uh, on a on on sports page, right? Yeah. Then you got some clown that's on there that's talking about, well, this is football, say. We ain't be talking about We talk about whatever the hell we want to talk about. Yeah. This is our show. And you're going to love it. Yeah. So we, we pretty much, what we do, we doing it for the culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't have no alternative facts. No. You know, because you know what they say, though. Hmm. If young Metro don't trust you, <laughs> you're going to shoot you. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. you know, my thing, so this, this, <laughs> it, it, this, our show is all about entertaining, you know, talking talk, talk sports, yeah. talking film and food. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like I said, if you don't want to watch it, just don't click it. That, that's, that's what, you know, you ain't got to you ain't got to subscribe, you ain't got to share, whatever. But know? again, man, you know, you got some people, man, that have the intellect of a cockroach. You yeah. don't understand. I mean, appreciate it for what it is. Yeah. You know, we're yeah. not in here acting a fool. Right. Maybe that's probably what why they, why they yeah, hate. Yeah, I guess so. Because we're not I up in here acting like a bunch of idiots, like a yeah. bunch of buffoons yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're giving you 
We're giving you good content. We come, we, you know, it's just basically, you know, we're just having a dialogue. Pretty much. You know, and we encourage everybody that watches the video or sees the video to get involved. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we're not above reproach. You know, uh, with normal working working class guys like everybody yeah, else. Yeah. So you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, and yeah. if you feel a certain kind of way about it, dude, you know you don't have to watch the video. Man. You ain't gotta watch you it. You know, man. nobody's nobody's making you do anything. You nobody's don't forcing do nobody's forcing your hand. We just right. trying to you know we just trying to get that peak. Cause like I said, we got a lot of people that watch our show. Yeah. You know, family that yeah. we got all over the all, like I gonna say the world, but all over the states. You know that that like our input, yeah. in film, and food, right, and football, right. So because I mean, again, too, you know, we give people a different insight. And look, if you, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, if you was to catch us with the cameras off, we'd be doing the same thing. Pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And don't get, don't, don't let my daddy get involved. Oh man, this should be like two, two hours, three, two, two, three, three hours. hours. Oh yeah, man, yeah, all yeah. get back and forth. And then at the end of the day, we all hug it out, you know, you know, and, and that's that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we're just giving y'all a little tidbit into our ideology of what we think, you know what I'm saying, yeah. uh, about sports and how we feel about it. You right, know? And, right. man, like I say, hell, man, everybody that's riding with us right now, man, wait till the season starts, man. We got so much yeah, stuff yeah, lined up for y'all, man. It's ridiculous, man. We got some good yeah, yeah. stuff coming, coming through, you know what I'm saying? So, like I say, you know, the, you know, it, it, it's in the, it's in the stratosphere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just talk about sports. You know, you don't have to watch it. You right. know what I'm saying? Just if you if you like it, if you watch it, and you like what we talking about, then like it, share it, subscribe. Right. I know I'm early in the video yeah. we're talking yeah. about yeah. that. And we not, we, you know, because we're not cursing. We're no. not talking about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, nothing you know, negative. Nothing, nothing negative. ignorant. Yeah. Or nothing yeah. like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? saying? We're not talking about Trump. We're just know? talking about, you know, we talking about America's real, real, real pastime. Football. You know what I'm saying? Football. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 football. yeah the so pink skin, man. Yeah, yeah so that, you know, besides that, uh, what, 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 what film you got? Oh, uh, man. Well, you know what? We're going to say that for later. But okay. I know you said you had, uh, you wanted to talk about, man, well, Mother's Day was last week. No, no. Uh, was it? it was yeah, two it was. Weeks two weeks ago? Yeah, I think it was two weeks Go ahead, go ahead. Make your point. Man, I'm too. Okay. I'm sorry. Mother's Day was two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, we want to say on behalf of Cass, man, uh, aka Black but man, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And you know, um, two weeks ago was a very, very beautiful day. Uh, me and Big Bro got on the grill and cooked again. Um, and you know, you know, cooked and uh, had some, man, we had a whole nice little spread. It was like the, you know the mothers in our lives. I mean, the, the wives and the mothers in our lives. Man, they was here, man. It was like they ate at a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know tried to do it, man. Let them know what they were. Man, we had, well, of course, you know, we had the, we had the grilled steaks. Steaks. Yeah. Um, you know, I had to convince uh, one of the mothers to put barbecue sauce on the steak. Yes. Uh, you yes. know, they give you know because my brother makes a very very good barbecue sauce. Yeah. Um, you know, we had asparagus, uh, baked potato, Potatoes. loaded baked potato. Yeah. yeah. Um, and corn. we had corn. Yeah. Um, yeah. on the grill we had lobster. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I wish we had pictures. No, we, we don't have pictures. We don't have pictures of lobsters. Huh? No, we ain't got no pictures. But we got a picture of everything else, right? I don't think we got that. Well, it didn't last long. Yeah, it, it didn't, didn't last long. long. It went so, it went so fast. And, you know, and like I said, you know, with that, you know, we want to cook because we want to do something different. Because, see, you know what it is? is, is uh, you know, this is the first time that uh, in a while that, my, you know, a big baby bro been here, you know, mm -hmm. and like I said, we got four or five mothers that live here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's my sister Kim, my wife, your wife, mm -hmm. uh, my sister-in-law, mm -hmm. two sister-in-laws, so that's five. So we wanted them to go out mm -hmm. and enjoy themselves. Yes. Get, you know, go get Manny Petties or whatever yes. y'all women like to do. Yes. You know, so we encouraged that while yes. me and my bros, we all got together, we watched the kids and we cooked. Yeah. And uh, we enjoyed ourselves, watched Star Wars, and, yeah. you, know, talk, you know, throwing us pigs in around. I was about to say that, throwing pigs in around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do. Absolutely. You know, I'm sure somebody seen my Instagram video with me and you do the kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Ain't my type of yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So we were just, we had a good time. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. you know, so that's the dish. We did some steaks and stuff. My boy, he seasoned them up real nice. And, uh, man, I'm Turned gonna, them some bits. Yeah, no. yeah. I mean, it was, it was great, man. It was great. So we're going to do it again the, yeah. next time. So what you yeah. got, what you... Uh, man, you know, this week on, uh, you know, episodes three and four of American Gods, um, again, episode three, uh, gave you a little more insight about the world and how it works, how it really, really works. Uh, first scene, first 15 minutes, again, did not disappoint. Yeah, yeah. Um, woman, the, the, a woman that you, heart. at first glance, you're looking at this woman and she's, you know, she looks Arabic. 
know what I'm saying, of Arabic descent or Middle Eastern descent. Um, and uh, death comes knocking on her door. Yeah. And her death just so happens to be a brother. Uh, a brother. Mm -hmm. The underground uh, uh, the underground guy, Anubis. Man, you know, quick tidbit. Mm -hmm. That dude is going to be in the new Star Trek mm -hmm. the TV show, uh, mm -hmm. Discovery. He's going to be a, a, a Klingon. He's going to be the main Klingon in uh, the new Star Trek. Shine in that role, you know. Shine, anyway, but, exactly. but and uh, you know, she was very disrespectful in the beginning, mm -hmm. but he at all times kept a smile on his face, mm -hmm. and you know, said I'm the newbie. Told him who she, he told her who she was, and she was like, well, this is a Muslim home, and he said, doesn't matter, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your lineage, your heritage is dipped in African, mm -hmm. so when you die in Africa. Or excuse me, and the Kiba line or Ethiop or Ethiopian is gonna come and get you and bring you to where you need to go. Um, for a lot of people, believe it or not, like I said, the first few fifty minutes when you saw the feather and the heart on the scale, mm -hmm. that is a actual uh, ancient Phoenician comedic uh, di uh, thing. You know, they really, really believed in that—that mm -hmm. that you would be judged. You mm -hmm. know, and it sounds familiar, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But if, and just a sidebar, another sidebar, if the, if the heart is heavier than the feather, you will be devoured. Mm -hmm. by, That's what you said in the episode four, by Widow Girl. Right? Yeah, you will be devoured by uh, a beast. Mm -hmm. But the beast is, is it, 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 these are on the walls in Egypt, okay? Uh, it had the head of a, a head of a crocodile, okay. The body of a lion, the arms of the the, the, the hind, the, not the hind legs, the front legs of a lion, and the the, the, the hind legs of a hippopotamus. Now, if you think about it, a crocodile, a lion, and a hippopotamus, three of the most dangerous yeah. dangerous predators to humans. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's all it, you know. So they really believe, really believe in it. And like I said, watching it, uh, the way it turned out, beautiful. Um, it's how he hustled. Now he didn't hustle Chernobog into out of the checkers game to beat him. He beat him straight up, but he kind of took Chernobog off his game. You know what I'm saying? The way that's how he was able to beat him. Um, episode four, you got to see more of a backdrop into yeah, a Laura and Shadow's relationship. Now they changed some things because um, in actuality it was uh, Robbie and Shadow that were doing the thing and I think they were trying to knock over a bank mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it wasn't a casino uh, Laura didn't work in the casino you know what I'm saying um, but like I told you I think when the last episode she was the one that got those dudes yeah, killed yeah, you know when he was saying? hanging from right the, uh, now she didn't lose her arm right then and there you know what I'm saying but you know over the course of her body decomposing you know what I'm saying she started losing limbs um, Anubis in them but well, she never talked to Anubis okay she never yeah, did. Yeah, took it to the moon. Yeah, to see, but, and like I said, I think that's Anubis and that's Osiris. Okay. And the cat, I think, is a saw. Or, no, a cat is a set. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think, not sure. I got it, like I said, it's been a while. But um, they didn't patch her up and fix her. They didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, her body decomposed slowly. So, uh, and then I, I like my man, uh, the leprechaun. Um, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. when he lost that coin... All his luck went away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dude got killed. <laughs> what that dude? Yeah, that dude kids in the hall, man. Yeah, kids in the hall. Yeah, man. Kids in the hall. Yeah, man. Familiar. Yeah, yeah, man. Familiar. But yeah, yeah the, the show. Like I said, the show's getting better. I don't know how many episodes this episode. I think it's five. maybe got maybe six, maybe six, 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 six left. You think so? Six. Maybe. Okay, so it might be maybe. Well, six. you know, well, we just watched the episode four, yeah, so five is sadly. Five is sad. So, five is sad, so mm -hmm. they may have five left. Okay, so yeah, like I said, you know, when y'all get a chance, man, check it out. We really don't have a film because. We've been watching American Gods. Yeah, not only that, but like uh, uh, Alien Covenant, we'll have that for you whenever we watch. Cause right. Like, we probably, that'll probably right. be down the pipe. You watch right. that, check right. that out. Because that's, that's going to be another deep, because, you know, we both got some input on that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but anything else? Um, who wants to do your top five uh, uh, oh, fame oh, snubs? Oh, the fame snubs. Yeah. Matter of fact, I got one off the top of the dome. Who? Roger Craig. Yeah, yeah. Now... For those who don't know, wait for the top five. Sorry. I don't know where that's gonna be. Okay, next one. Okay, okay. 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 anyway, 
Roger Craig was the first thousand thousand yard uh, running back in the NFL when at a time when it was all you did was run the ball. Right. You barely passed. But when Bill Walsh came into the league, he revolutionized the West Coast. Not revolutionized. He was the godfather of it. He he created it. The West Coast um, West Coast system that everybody uses today. Mm-hmm. A variation of it. Uh, uh, in different variations of it. Um, but again, quarterback. You you didn't throw the ball 15, 20 yards down the field. Right. You threw five yards, seven yards. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You didn't just throw to and, and even in that system, the tight end was even utilized at a time when tight ends only did was block. Right. You know, That's all true. football yeah. teams did was run the ball, and all tight ends did was block. Right. You know That's what I'm true. saying? That's true. Um, they run. I mean, and just the things that this guy did. He was one of my favorite players, even though he played for the Roger 49ers. Yeah, he was one of my favorite yeah, players. Yeah, yeah, I always you know have respect for Roger. I remember when he was he played on first and ten. Remember first and oh, ten? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Um, you know, Roger Craig. Who else? Who else? All right, uh, John Lynch. Really? Yeah, he's not in there yet. Okay, well, I don't see, know they, about that one. See, on here, they, right, they, on here they got Kurt Warner and they got Morton Anderson. So they going into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, we got Terry Owens. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, look, a lot of people call him what he was a, he was a team obliterator. But, dude, anytime you can shake, a shutdown corner, two feet in front of you, and score a touchdown off of it, <laughs> dude. You, I mean, this is when he played for Philadelphia. I mean, just put a move on champ. I ain't never seen do nobody do champ like that. Man, I, I put it like this, man. Um, Terrell Owens, uh, you know, the Forty Nine er and the Eagle, and the Raven, and the Cowboy, and the Bill, and the Bill, and a Bengal, and a Bengal. Was he a Bengal? Yes, he was a Bengal. Okay, it, it, you can't take away, you know, you can't take away the dude's stats, man. You can't take you can't take away this dude's stats. This dude was a monster when he yeah. was. It was you know back in the day it was comparable between him and Moss. Like who was better? You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. I always went with Moss because that was my guy. You know, but Terry Owens mm-hmm. got the stats. Yeah, Terry Owens. I mean, Terry. Well, the reason why? Because Terry Owens could go across the middle. Exactly. And Terry Owens, he was one of the first. Yeah, he was one of the first receivers to come out his size. It was yeah, him, big boy, yeah. and uh, David Stokes. J.J. Stokes, yeah, but J.J. Stokes was soft. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> David Boston was another one, but David yeah, Boston got popped for PED, yeah, so he got kicked yeah, out the league. But look at Terrell Owens. When Terrell Owens played, you seen him put on them damn shoulder pads, see how big he was? I mean, and then at that time, corners was only averaging like 200 pounds. That yeah. max. Right. Five foot, 11, five foot 10, 11. Uh, 200 pounds max. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? They weren't, they just physically, he was just physically dominating. Pretty much, you know. What I'm that's saying? why he. That's why he was able to do the stuff he's doing. I don't understand why he didn't get in because this is the second year getting snubbed. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and I think you know, and I think the writers have something against him. And see, and it shouldn't be. Well, I don't want to get into that. I don't think right. it should be left up to people who you never play football. Game. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, but the Hall of Famers get a vote too. I think all the Hall of people that's in the Hall of Fame. I think they get a vote too. Yeah. But I think it's a certain percentage. Yeah. They get. Yeah. You got to remember though, a lot of these, a lot of them do. Bunch of coons in the <laughs> and uh, they got uh, Terrell Owens. But, I mean, not Terrell Owens. Uh, Terrell Davis, but he's going in this year too. So that's another one. I mean, okay, give it to him because they said what well, he put up uh, the same amount of numbers that Gail said yeah, did in half the time or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Seven year brief, seven year career. Yeah. yeah. So you know, a lot of people. Uh, but okay, cool. Get him in. Steve Let Atwater. Him. I like that. I thought he was going in. Now see, Steve Atwater, he was one of those. He was one of the first like hard hitting safeties. Hard hitting safeties. You never seen guys like that. It, it, the only other guy you knew like that was Ronnie Lott. You know what I'm saying? But Steve Atwater was a beast. The only problem is he played on some really good Bronco teams that would get obliterated in the big game. Pretty much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the so, Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He was I'm definitely saying, on those yeah. teams. Has Charles Woodson been out of the league long enough to get involved in? Yeah, yeah, he's not in there. Though. See, that's what I'm saying. Charles Wilson is another one of those guys that, you know, need to be, that need really need to be, for, he, he should be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Brian Dawkins. Okay, yeah. Yeah, another hard-hitting safety. Oh, man, I remember he put a hit on Mike Vick. Man, Mike Vick, he laid Mike Vick out. He scored, I think Mike Vick scored the touchdown, but he laid Mike Vick out. And <laughs> yeah, Mike Vick actually had to sit there for him. He tried to get up. Oh, let me sit back down. Let me get my thoughts together. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I was like, man, he lost. That was a you know, she championship game too, man. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he played for Atlanta, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, Mike yeah, Vick, yeah. man. Mike Vick, that was my dude. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was a beast, 
Yeah, we had, so that's that's our that's our couple of you know players that we yeah. think that you know what I'm saying got got yeah. snub, but hopefully next year for To. I think To is the biggest snub. Him and Roger Craig, I think. Yeah. Be, but then it, 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 it sucks because whoever retired five more years, you know, like next year whoever mm-hmm. retired four more years, three years ago, mm-hmm. it's gonna go yeah, in. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It's pushing these dudes out. Yeah. You know, it, you know, but like I think he'll get in eventually. I mean, once, like I said, I mean, I, they holding a grudge against him. Right. And that's yeah. not fair. And granted, yeah, he wasn't the best character guy. Right. But it's what you do on the field. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, he exactly. wasn't a troublemaker. Exactly. Guy. You don't buy a ticket to go see him play, you know, and, 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 and be thinking, oh, man, you know, he's a hell of an athlete. But, damn it, his attitude is keeping right. you, know, right. you know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure man. you loved him. If he was on your team, you, you loved, loved him. him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, so. absolutely. Absolutely. But, so. anyway, uh, you had a name that you could? Uh... Go Saints. <laughs> of course. All right, that's our show for the day. Um, maybe another two weeks. Another two another weeks. Another two weeks. Like I said, people, this is the dead zone, man. Yeah, There's really not yeah, too yeah. much going on, man. OTA is going to be starting up in yeah. another couple, couple weeks. weeks. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we might have some more interesting stuff to tell hopefully, you. But hopefully. Hopefully. But right now, man, this is, this is what we got. This yeah. is what we're giving y'all, you know, and... uh like you said, we, we try to add some other things in there, you know, to make it interesting. Yeah, make interesting. Show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to make, try to, you know, try to try to make it yeah. interesting so y'all can watch it, right. enjoy. Exactly. Uh, like I said, if you got any suggestions, at least until the dead zone is over. At least until the let dead us zone know. At least until the drought, drought is over. We appreciate uh, appreciate the the, the comments. Uh, yes. You know what I'm saying? The yes. comments, and we appreciate everybody. Yes. Oh, folks, you know leave people with the question of the question of the day. Question of the day. This is what we're gonna talk about on our next show. Hmm. The top. I don't want to say top five because I don't want to put them in a bubble. But okay. who do you think the top wide receiver core is in the NFL? Well, hold on. You talking about this year or are we talking about based off of last year? Ooh. Well, you have to go by name because you don't know what stat you don't know what stats. Because I could easily throw out Philly because they got they got uh, Torrey Smith now. They drafted a boy and they got that boy Jeffrey. Okay, but. Does Torres Smith scare anybody? He speed, he's fast. Okay, but does he scare anybody? I don't think he scare anybody because of the offense. Remember, he was with the 49ers for like two, three years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't had no quarterback, though. Exactly. So if that boy got a quarterback, you got wins. But you never know what he can do. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I mean, that might be somebody that I might look at in my fantasy. Football. Oh, boy. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Somebody yeah. who's a little yeah. sneaky. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You don't mind getting them, them two or three. Don't mind. Wide receivers. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know when they're going to shine. But, you know, like, the, the, so it, it depends. You, I don't want to say last year because you don't want to go off last year because people went to different teams and stuff True. like that. But you can look at the look at it and see who you think the top. Because, you know, I think a lot of people say the Saints might have took a hit because we lost Cook. Yeah, we did. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. I think we'll be just fine. But, you know, you, we got we, Anyway, this will be a whole other thirty minute show about talking about that. But just think of what you think of the offensively, the top wide right receiver cores in the NFL. Okay, yeah. You know right, what I'm right. saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, just give us some feedback. Right. Let us know. Thank y'all for commenting. Yeah. Uh please share, subscribe, like the page, you know, share it, every, any any change you get, share it. You know, you gotta throw you gotta start sharing the page. I do share the page. Okay, all right. Uh yeah. Yeah.